Cholesterol is 80% made via your liver. So you have to have a healthy liver as well to make cholesterol. Now, when your cholesterol levels go up too high, it's because your body is trying to make its hormones. It's that because that's what cholesterol is for. So the cholesterol goes higher because it's trying to make your hormones. So when you go for a statin, you've just blocked the ability for your body to do what it's naturally trying to do anyways. So by lowering your cholesterol, you have to look after your hormones and you have to start feeding your hormones with the nutrients that each hormone needs because every hormone needs specific things. Those steroid hormones specifically need things like healthy fats. They have to have healthy fats in order to be produced. But if you have vegetable oils, they're not healthy fats, like rapeseed oil, that's chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation is gonna destroy your hormones. Just, just read any of my books, sugar, dairy, gluten, all of those are feeders of chronic inflammation. So whenever there's chronic inflammation, your hormones cannot function. Your hormones cannot be made because there is chronic inflammation in your body. So you have to heal the underlying root causes in order to lower your cholesterol. Remember, the body is always working for you to try and heal and repair itself. That is what it naturally does. So if you have high cholesterol, your body is speaking to you saying, hi, I really need some help here. My hormones can't be made. Can you do something really nice for me and give me some healthy fats? Give me some really good nurturing food so that my body can do what it's supposed to do and then I'll lower the cholesterol for you. And oh, by the way, your liver is a mess. It really needs filtering. Could you give me a little bit of tender love and care for my liver?